Hi, I'm Mikey Sklar at Holy Scrap Hot Springs, and today I'd like to clarify some things about zapping your old household power tools with a welder. Power tools going. This is a 10-year-old Makita with a uh, NICAD battery. It's pretty weak. <laughs> so let's do a quick voltage check and see where the battery is at right now with a multimeter. And what I'm seeing is a reading of 7.4 volts. That's very low since this is a 9.6 volt battery. So what we're going to do is zap it with a welder. Turn the wire feed all the way down to zero. Turn the voltage on the welder, the power, the amps it's going to release all the way up. So for me, A, B, C, D, D is the highest. Turn it on. For this I don't use any mask or goggles because I'm just lightly zapping it. And what I'm going to do is do it backwards. So on my welder, my ground is actually the uh, wire feed. So I'm going to hit that against the positive and take it even lower since this is a memory battery. Yeah. 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 All right. We do a quick voltage check, and what we'll see now is that the voltage has dropped because we've been running the welder backwards. And our voltage now is about 7.37. So a slight drop. And what I'm going to do is now flip the battery and zap it backwards. So now we're going to put the correct positive terminal, which is my ground clip here, on the battery's positive and the welder negative on the negative battery terminal and give it a couple of zaps and see if it takes a starts rising. Great. A couple of zaps took forever to figure out. And we'll see what our voltage is now. And it should be a little bit higher. We had 7.37 last time. And now what I'm getting is 10.5. Great. That means if we just use a wire brush and clean up this nastiness that we made. Now we clean up those terminals a little since we got welding mung all over them. And we can throw it right back in the drill. Great. So now, we just throw it in the charger and let it charge right up. 